Okay, so here we are. Uh, last video got cut off a little bit short, but anyway, we had just set up a uh, uh, comment tool, the arrow, and uh, I'm calling it the left pole control, and we double grouped it. I got the offset node here. Now, with this co this control, we're going to set this up a little bit differently in that it's going to be a pole vector uh, or a constraint for the IK. So I don't want it centered on the elbow. I want it centered. Um, in the middle of this uh, triangle, if you will, that the IK creates between the wrist joint, the elbow joint, and the shoulder joint, and the IK. So think of it maybe like a bow and arrow or something. We want the uh, we want it to be centered inside of uh, like this triangle. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the wrist joint, and then holding Shift, I'm going to select the wrist joint, the elbow joint, and the shoulder joint. And you can see this if you open up your um, over here in the outliner that I've got all three of these selected. And then uh, what I want is the offset node of our elbow pole vector control, which I've called oops, I've called elbow pole control. So when you're over here, you just hold control to select these. So I've got these three joints and the control. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to point constrain this. And by giving a point constraint, as we should know by now, um, we'll give a control to all three of these joints, and basically they're all going to have to share it. So we're all going to give 50% control, and it's going to end up getting snapped to the center of this area. So here we go. Um, that snapped it right into the center of the overall triangle. And uh, the next thing that we need to do is I want to I want to aim it at our elbow. Because our pole uh, it needs to be aimed directly at the x-axis, um, or the x-axis of this uh, control needs to be aimed at the elbow. So to do that, I am again going to select the well, I'm going to select just the elbow joint, and then I'm going to sh um, control select over here in the outliner the offset node for the elbow pole control. I probably could have given it a better name than that. Um, anyway. So we got the I uh, selected the elbow first. It's gonna be the driver, and I'm gonna go into constrain and aim, and I'm gonna open up the option box just to make sure you guys have this set up the way I do. Offset's gonna be zeroed out. Aim vector is in the X because I want the X to point. Our up vector is is Y, and our world type is seen up. And I'm gonna constrain all axis because I'm just trying to get an aim, and uh, I'll delete this later. So I hit apply. And close and you'll notice our elbow or our uh, control snapped around now it's perfectly pointing towards our elbow uh, joint so now that I've done that like I said these constraints were simply used to set that uh, control into a position so I'm going to select these now and I'm going to delete those out and so we have all our control. Now again, this is a little bit different. Normally we've been moving the offset node around. Um, I want to move the actual uh, transforms of the control because the, tr the control is going to be um, what's setting up the vector or the, I'm sorry, the pole vector um, for our elbow control. So we want to have the control selected important this point and then when we type W our X factor is going to be pointing right at the elbow joint so um, pretty easy to see when I'm in this mode so anyway so we select the this direction I'm just going to move it back and uh, you don't want it too far back although it's not really going to matter because it's it's directly pointing towards that elbow no matter how far we move it back anyway so I'm just going to move it back a little bit um, something like that and then in the Hypergraph and the IRC, see what we've got here uh, now. So, this is going to be all set up and this is going to work fine. Uh, what we need to do though now, so if I was to move this hand around, um, we don't have any hierarchy set up, so the, the uh, control arrow will stay there. Everything else will work, um, but we, we need this to follow along with the hand. So, when the hand moves, our uh, pull vector follows along with it. So to do that is pretty simple. We're just going to select the offset node of our control. I'm going to middle mouse drag it over underneath the control of the wrist. So when I select the wrist control, that is going to highlight now. And now when I go to move this guy, uh, it's 
our pole vector uh, control shape is going to stay with our elbow, and we're going to get the uh, elbow will stay, you know, actually pointed back in that direction, no matter where we move our arm now. Um, so this is the correct way to set up a pole vector, and I'll move this back to where we were. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead at this point. One thing I didn't do, I'm sure we're fine on time. One thing I didn't do uh, is I failed to name the IK, so it's just I just saw that here. Uh, so it's called IK handle, and that's not good. So what I want is um, left um, arm, I guess, whatever. It's fine. IK handle. Much better. Okay. Uh, I know that's picky, but if you don't name that, then you have IK handles for the legs and on the other side and all that kind of good stuff. So we definitely want to name everything. Um, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to set up our hierarchies so that um, these all follow. So right now I have the, if I select the clavicle, the bones are going to move, but all the, the uh, controls aren't going to um, follow. So uh, I'm simply going to move my wrist now under my shoulder. And by doing that, I just select the offset node of the wrist to move it under the shoulder. The offset node of the shoulder, move it under the clavicle. Now when I select the clavicle, there we go. We're all, it's all going to follow along. And again, so I made sure, I just have an orient constraint on the clavicle um, so that I can simply rotate this because that's all our clavicle bone does. Um, I do... You know, you can't rotate this guy, but if we move this guy, he'll move up and down so we can shrug our shoulders. Or, you know, uh, anyway, you can move your shoulder kind of, well, not necessarily forward, but, and we probably could have done that a little bit if we would have selected this guy, but it would have taken a little bit more work because we move this guy up, then you have to move the hand down, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, I like being able to have control over just simply you know shrugging this shoulder up a little bit and you know the hand does move a little bit but anyway uh, talking in circles so uh, I believe with this we have our IK set up we have the hierarchy see the way we want to and give you just a little view of that and um, that's pretty much it for setting up the IK of the arm uh, in the next video we're gonna go ahead and get into the hand and I'll go back to the FK joints. Oh, I guess what we could do is if I turn off this layer, let's get all of our controls onto the IK joint layer and turn that back on. And again, um, it was a pretty short but sweet video. And uh, with that, we're going to move on to uh, setting up some set-driven keys uh, and making some custom attributes for the hand. We're finally going to get into these uh, set-driven key nodes right here that are empty right now but I will show you what they're going to be used for here in the next video. So until then, um, yeah, talk to you later.